Hi friends, welcome to a new vlog. I hope you're doing well. I just got done filming. I've been working on my two looks video with my new Cosmic Brushes palettes, the uh, Serenity and Delicious Delights, which that video will already be up by the time this vlog goes up, so you can check it out if you are curious. I love this look. I think it came out so cool. But I just wanted to pop on, say hi, introduce the new vlog, and I think we might do some Halloween decor hunting after work today. I think that sounds fun. We have to go out anyways because we desperately need just like a couple groceries because we were just out of town for a few days for my birthday and then we go on vacation again next Wednesday and it's Thursday now um so we don't need a ton of food because I don't want a ton of groceries to go bad while we're gone but we need a couple things we have like nothing in this house um so since we'll be out anyways I figured maybe we would do some Halloween decor hunting pop into home goods see if there's anything because our home goods tends to be pretty good and Maybe now that 4th of July has officially passed, maybe there will be some things now. We shall see. I know for sure we're also going to Jacksonville again on Sunday to do some Halloween decor hunting, so that'll be fun. So I guess I'll catch you later. We'll do some, some Halloween scouting and see what happens. In the meantime, I'm just going to do a little bit of YouTube work, edit a little bit, and then head off to the salon, and then we'll go look for some pumpkins. This is what we ended up grabbing, this little blanket with pastel ghosties. We always do like a spring theme, like a spooky spring during spring, obviously. Um, so this will be perfect for that. So this isn't really Halloween specific because I'll save this for later, um, but it'll be very cute next year when spring rolls around again. Hello, happy Saturday. I hope you're doing well. I just got off work. I'm heading home now. Um, my father-in-law is putting more shelves in my library and I'm so very excited. I did not think that was happening this weekend because uh, Zane mentioned to him that I needed new shelves in my library and we wanted his help. Um, but I really did not think he was going to help us this soon. So I'm very excited to have more shelves because the shelves that I already have in my library are they're, they're filling up. There's no space. So I'm very excited about that. So I will show you that when he's done. I cannot wait. It's going to be so good. It's going to change what my plans were a little bit for the library. I was initially going to put a bunch of artwork. Come on, go, 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 go. Um, but I was initially going to put a bunch of artwork on the wall that my chair sits at in my library. But instead, I'm going to put a bunch of shelves there and put artwork in other places. Um, but I'm just so excited. Excited. I'm also just so excited that I've been reading and enjoying books so much that I already need to add new shelves and I'll have a lot of extra space that'll keep me going for quite a while so very exciting and I will show you that later. It looks so good. Uh, Zane's dad's actually gonna put one more shelf here uh, while we're gone but we only got four to start with but they look so good and then I moved well Zane moved these tapestries here and Zane's also super smart and realized that my light um, could have daylight instead of yellow light so that's great. Um, I'm going to organize these. Hi, Faye. Hey, baby. <laughs> um, but I'm going to organize these a bit. Um, and yeah, I'm very excited. I'll show you later after I'm done. All right. So here's how we're looking now. It looks so cute. So up top, I just kind of put things that I'm not really going to touch. I have my Crave series here. Eventually, I'll have some other things to fill out the sides. And then here is my like little Akatar section. I eventually envisioned this just being my Sarah J Mass section, honestly. And then this is my TBR shelf. It's very cute. I like to color coordinate my TBR just because I don't really do that anywhere else. And I just think it's a fun way to display all the books I've yet to read. I'm very excited to eventually dive into all of these. And then we are gonna put one more shelf. Uh, we just only had four to start with, but it'll fill in this area really nice. And it'll just be like a cute little cubby of books right above. And then over here, I just kind of rearranged a little bit. Obviously there's a lot of empty space now because I have all those new shelves, but 
that makes me happy because then I have lots of room to fill in all the things. And I'll turn the light off too so you can kind of see the effect when it's like nighttime. It looks so pretty. I'm so super excited about it all. Good morning, how's it going? We are doing some Halloween decor hunting today. I am going to be heading to Jacksonville. We're gonna check out at home old time pottery and I think Joann's Michaels and TJ Maxx again because the Joann's in Jacksonville when we went a couple weeks ago was pretty stocked. So maybe there'll be more and other things. And I'm very excited. My mom's actually joining us today as well because she wants to go Halloween decor hunting with me. So I don't think I'll like be super chatty throughout the day since I'll be hanging out with Zane and my mom, but I will show all the things that I see that are new. If I don't show anything, it's because it was already like there in the last vlog where we did Halloween decor hunting, but I am so excited. I did film this look in preparation for Halloween. Um, I actually used my Planet Spirit palette with Odin's Eye to create this very Halloween-y look, and I'm very excited about it. Uh, it'll be up on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts probably before this vlog goes up. So yeah, I'm gonna head downstairs and finish getting ready, and then we're gonna head out. So here's the haul. Got this little hangy back guy from at home. Um, my mom actually got me these little cauldrons from Michael's. I thought they were super cute. And she also got me this little guy for my library from Home Goods. I thought it was super cute. Um, back to at home, I got this little cutie. I thought this would be fun for Valentine's Day specifically because it has little roses on it. Thinking ahead a little bit. Um, at Joanne, I know we're going all out of order, but at Joanne got this little cute light up back cauldron. It even has the little handle. It's so stinking cute. And then Joanne also had these little succulents. Like that one's a little ghosty. This one's a little kitty cat. And then these two pink skulls I'll save for Valentine's Day slash springtime. I thought they were so super fun. This one I got it at home as well. I think this will be year round decor. I just don't know exactly where it'll live. Honestly, it might live in my library. Um, same with this one. This one also might stay out year round and look really cute in the library. I thought it was super fun. I can put a little tea light in there. At home also had this guy that I thought was cool. He looks like he's creeping out of the ground. And then Joanne had this little serving tray. I thought this would be cute when we have like a little Halloween party. At a different home goods, the first TJ Maxx we went to, I found these that again, I'll also save for like Valentine's Day slash springtime. I'm basically trying to just plan ahead. Um, and then we also found this that we think the new baby will love because she loves to play all the time and we think this will be perfect for her. Um, speaking of which, they're the two, the two girls are playing right now. <laughs> are you guys playing tag? That's so super cute. I love that for you. Zane went to the store, but we'll test out that cat toy with Feyre and all the cats really um, later and I'll show you that. Um, but in the meantime, I think I'm just going to do a little bit of YouTube work and then I'm going to read a bit because I'm getting close to finishing Red, White, and Royal Blue. I think I have just over 100 pages left, so I hope to finish it tonight and then I'll pick out my next read. I also really want to play a little bit of The Sims, but it's already 5.30. I really need to fold my salon laundry. 
I'm running out of time. It's crunch time before our next vacation and I'm running out of time to do all the things. So we shall see. I'll regroup with you later. Babies, <laughs> we got you a new toy. Babies, you guys wanna try it out? They already like the toy itself. Guys, you're just letting it whack you. Edelin. Is this more confusing than it is fun? <laughs> this is so anticlimactic. <laughs> Don't care. It's cool in theory, but they're more interested in the, the noise that it's making. Oh, oh, she just bit at it. Oh, oh, it works now. Edelin, you like it? Isn't that crazy? What do you think, Felix? Well, Edelin caught it. What if we make it go faster? or random. She has to let go. Let's try random mode. Oh, oh dang. This thing is bananas, guys. Edelin likes it, here comes Feyre. Honestly, I'm surprised Feyre hasn't jumped on this. We thought Edelin might be interested, but Feyre is so insanely playful that we thought she'd love this. I think Kanade feels tricked that it wasn't a box. Oh, okay, we're biting the... Do you yeah. feel tricked that it wasn't a meow box? I'm sorry, my darling. <laughs> Feyre wants to play. Felix, Felix is interested. Felix. He doesn't know how to play though. He wants pets. Whoa! That thing whipped her out. It's on the random, so it's gonna be- Edelin loves this thing. Good. You guys are crazy. We'll see if they end up liking it more. But at least it's like, oh, oh, Feyre just attacked it. Oh, Feyre's into it now. Oh, cute! Well, two out of six ain't bad. These are the two we expected to care, honestly. <laughs> Good morning, friends. How's it going? I know the light is just coming in and you know it's fine. <laughs> I'm about halfway through getting ready. I still have to do my eyeshadow, but I'm filming a palette bingo right after this that I think is going to go up the day after this vlog and I don't want to spoil it. So I didn't do my eyeshadow yet. I figured we'd chat first. Felix, do you want to come in here? Hey, Felix. Hey, buddy, come here. Oh, he's going under my chair. Is that a cozy spot for you, buddy? I figured we'd chat a little bit about what I've read this week. First one I finished a couple days ago was The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. This one Zane's parents gave me for my birthday, and I really liked it. It was a fun little thriller, very fast-paced, very easy to read. It kind of did like a little blurb of like what's happening right now and then it would switch to the before and it would give us like a few chapters like leading up to it and then it would give us like another blurb of like what's happening now and it was fun kind of like connecting the pieces and figuring out what happened i definitely got suspicious of what the book wanted me to think at first but i was not even close to what was actually happening in this book so this one was really fun and i'm looking forward to reading more from this author in the future obviously once i do more of my physical tbr because i do not need to buy any more books right now but eventually i will Hey, Faye. Do you want to say hey? Uh, side note, she's obsessed with that new little toy. She played with it all night last night. Edelin played with it all night last night. Oh, she's trying to go after my coffee now. This little girl's a coffee fanatic. She can't be stopped. Um, but she was even playing with it this morning when it was turned off. The other cats were watching it, so it seems like it was a good hit, that, <laughs> that little toy. The other book that I finished last night was Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuinston. Um, this was really cute. Just a fun little queer rom-com. It's about, like, the Prince of England and the son of the President of the United States, and they kind of have, like, an enemies to lovers into a relationship, and it was very cute. I love the banter between them. I liked how this was written because there would be random parts where no 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 you cannot have my coffee <laughs> there would be random parts where it was showing like text message threads or email threads between them um it would show random headlines for things that are happening like in the news and stuff like that it was just it was really fun i enjoyed it i feel like i'd give both of these a pretty solid four stars actually so that was fun um but i figured now i do need to pick some books out for when we go on our trip in just two days like i can't believe we fly out in two days that's bonkers to me just two more work days we're getting so close um but i need to pick out some books to bring with me so i thought i would share that with you i think <sighs> Oh, let's see. I can't decide how many to bring. I brought eight when we went to Hawaii a few months ago, but that was also a much longer plane ride than 
this one because we're flying to Seattle first and then we have our Alaskan cruise and I know we're gonna read a good bit on the cruise just because like anytime we'd just be lounging out laying just enjoying the scenery and the beautiful weather like we're gonna just be reading I try this thing on vacation where I don't just play on my phone if there's ever downtime like I want to like read or do something that engages my brain um so I don't know how many to bring I'm thinking maybe six what do you think what do you think Faye you think six books <laughs> Especially because I also know like there's not going to be time where we're just like commuting because like once we're on the ship We're on the ship. I think six might be good. Um, so let's let's get to picking. Let's find out Okay, I think this is the best angle I can do. I don't know I also need to pick a book to read the next couple days before we fly out Let me pick that first then. I think I kind of want to read shatter me over the next couple days It seems like it'll be a pretty fast read. The font's pretty big. It's not super long. It's like just over 300 pages um, so I think I'll read this one over the next couple days. I love this cover, it's so pretty. Um, but I think I'll read this over the next couple days and then we'll jump into the six that I'll bring with me on my trip. Love in Other Words is a must have. Like I have to read this. I've been dying to read this. I'm so excited to finally own this. Um, and I feel like this will just be a fun vacation read. Not to mention like this vacation is for Zane and I's 10 year anniversary. So the rom-com lovey-dovey vibes are in order. So I'm super excited to read this one. Just to add some thrilleriness, I feel like Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. This is like a vacation-y kind of thriller. So I think this one will be fun to bring. Art of Your World by Abby Hibanez. I've been dying to read this. I've heard really good things about this author. And again, just like cutesy little rom-com vibes. I'm really excited to give this one a shot. Definitely It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey, just for obvious reasons. Another summery rom com -y kind of read, and we are inching into spooky season for me, so I want to bust out these summery reads while it's still, like, summer in my soul, even though I really wish it wasn't summer. Um, but I feel like this will be a cute one to bring as well. Maybe I'll bring What the Hex. I read the first book in this series, like... I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Um, and I really enjoyed it, so maybe I'll read the second one. I don't know if there's ever gonna be a third one or anything, but I'll maybe read this one. This was cute and it was an easy read. And then what do I want for my last one? Maybe The House in the Cerulean Sea. I've heard really, really good things about it. It's a little bit thicker, but not like so astronomically thick that it feels weird to bring on vacation, but also we're gonna be on a cruise ship and it's the sea. I don't know, maybe this will be a fun one to bring along as well. So yeah, I think this is my final lineup of what I wanna bring on the trip with me. I think this will be cute. I think this will keep me busy. I think this will be absolutely plenty. Oh my gosh, it already feels honestly so good just to like condense that a little bit more. Like it's still like a very full shelf of books, but assuming I read all of the ones I just mentioned within the next week and a half to two weeks, like that'll be great. I am very excited. <laughs> yeah, I honestly think that's where I want to leave you now for this vlog because I really need to finish editing this one and get it uploaded and scheduled. We'll already have been on our trip for how long? Okay, so we'll have already been on our trip for a couple days. We'll have already done our day in Seattle. We'll have already gotten on the ship and we'll be a couple days in. So very exciting. The next vlog will be the vacation vlog, of course, where you'll get to see our Alaskan cruise and our day in Seattle and it'll be super fun. I'm so super excited. It's going to be like the trip of a lifetime. I already have a feeling I'm going to want to go back. It just seems so incredible and I'm so excited. We've been looking forward to this since last February so I'm very excited that it's finally here. In the meantime I'm just going to finish filming, get some more editing done. I'm so close to getting all of my YouTube work done before this trip. We still need to pack and do all the things. Um, so yeah I'm gonna let you go here and I'll see you in the next one. If you made it to the end of this vlog leave some book emojis and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot and if you're not already you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I'm Batty Bean on everything. Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. I'm posting most days here as well. And feel free to join my channel memberships. The link to sign up will be down below. You'll get fun little perks, including a members only get ready with me once a month, and you'll get access to all the ones I've already uploaded. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.